Okay, so now that we've gotten the water closet out of the way, uh, maybe we can look at the lavatory and the bathroom and some of uh, this other uh, the sink and some of these other things out of the way as well. This should be relatively fast as all we really need here is mostly the height, the width and, and whatnot. So I went around and I, like usually, I do uh, I go around and look for uh, some other references uh, just to get general ideas. Uh, and also some modern styles, you know, just some simple shapes uh, just to know that, you know, you've got this little edge and, you know, it's, you know, this edge is a little bit thicker than this end and this size are thinner and, you know, it snaps like this on the wall. So just to have an idea of some of these, you know, very simple shapes and, you know, so this should be straightforward. So let's get into it real quick. Okay. Um, so let me bring Blender very quickly and let me drop my plane here so what we're gonna do here right now we're gonna uh, design um, the sink um, so what dimensions do I want uh, let's say I want to start with um, let's say 305 millimeters and 840 um, so come here dimension 305 mm okay let me make sure my display is on 305 okay and 840 840 mm like this interesting Okay, so this is a very interesting rectangular one. Okay, so no, I took the width times two, so I should go 305 by 330. Okay, so that's that. 330 mm. Okay, there you go. So I have something reasonable. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just extrude that. Uh, I need a height of... Uh, uh, 205 oops extrude this by 205 mm like this okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to inset this this face inset like this and uh, let's see by dun -dun 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 -dun. Say 20 centimeter would you look like okay that's good for 20 centimeter um, does that look this thick let's find out maybe 15 centimeter so let's go with 15 centimeter like this okay and so now I'm going to extrude this down like this and snap it here and move it up by 15 centimeter like this uh not quite hold on okay so i'm gonna undo this very quickly um ctrl z and then here i'm going to object apply scale some of these things are not working because my scale is not working so we'll redo that in set now go to uh let's say one centimeter no two two centimeter okay okay so now extrude this down snap that there and move it up by two centimeter like this two centimeter and so now i can select this face and i can move it by let's say another three centimeter let's see what you look like maybe let's go with mm. ah, that looks, that looks decent what about that okay let's go with that so that's one thing so we have that uh, very quickly we had something uh, okay so what next we can create a double bowl as well very quickly um let's see utility sink uh what else do we need uh, a lavatory it has a height of 31 inch uh, we're not going to worry about that. Let's try to worry about the 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 bathtub for a moment. 
so we have a width of three foot six inches it can go all the way to uh, six foot as well so what I can do is I can duplicate this shift duplicate that and play with the dimensions okay so I want on the x-axis or on the on my y-axis I want a width of three foot six inches in millimeters that's gonna be 10 1.065 meters okay so uh, in the X 1.056 and let's see that okay and then um, the depth is going to be 760 so here 0 0.760 like that okay and then the height would be 305 as well interesting 305 Zero point three oh five like this. Okay, so I'm going to object apply scale. And here I'm going to delete everything that constitutes the internal of this X vertices like this and select these edges and face like that it's an interesting bad tab um, so now I'm going to object apply scale again so now I can insert this one more time by let's say I want a thickness on the edge of four centimeter like so and then extrude this down again and then move that up by four centimeters okay and so now I can select this face maybe this is the head move it down a bit like negative 10 centimeters like this maybe I want to be a bit fancy I want to move this bit like this okay let me create a second style here and then on this one I'm going to move I'm going to just bring this face in a little bit like this okay we have something there um do we need something else here let me see <sighs> the shower is going to be basically straightforward uh we have a height here of uh, six foot six foot eight okay uh three foot six three foot six seven six seven six let's see if we can work with that <coughs> So because this is already our 7.6 here, I'm going to shift duplicate that, press P to separate that selection, select that. And so I'm going to check that again, select that, snap it there, so negative 76 centimeters. Okay, so select that and extrude this by also 76 centimeters like this and it said that the height was six foot uh, eight six foot eight inch or six foot two inch okay so let's go with six foot eight inch um, on the Z you have six foot eight inch oops no 
six foot eight inches like this object apply scale and on the Z I want six foot eight inches strange uh, that would be 1.8 meters 1.8 okay something about that and so I'm going to select this base face shift duplicate that P select that face and extrude the face up by let's see about maybe uh, 20 centimeter like this negative 20 like that press I to insert are we good uh, let's go with six centimeter in here now let me um, extrude this down like this and move this up by by let's say four centimeter like that okay so now i have this face i can select this base face and snap it here okay so basically this is just going to be like the, the glass around it so what i can do is i can give this a thickness so i can select these faces select this x faces um okay what just happened so x faces and give it a solidify modifier like this even thickness um, object apply scale <coughs> um, okay so I want it to be thickness of uh, let's say two centimeters two millimeters okay so I'm going to apply again and I'm just going to select this internal faces and press Y P and select this and delete this so I have this on the inside you see what it does here for me well actually I don't think I should have deleted the other one probably is good like this okay just like that is fine um Do I want to tweak this any further? Well, I think it's good like this already. So select that. My faces are looking a bit skewed, so I'm going to select all of that and recalculate that. Okay. All right. So now that I have all of that, I'm going to just select all of that and see what is going on. File, export, OBG. Make sure my scale is 1000. Um, selection only. Z up. Y forward. Okay. Z up. Y forward. Okay. So. Okay. Da -da -da. Okay. Export. Bring free cap. Let's look at our objects. Mesh. Okay. Split the mesh. Select that. Architecture. Split mesh. Bingo select all of that architecture and mesh to shape delete this and we have some clean instances okay so now I can tell this to be white you know like porcelain white or something 
like that and I can tell this to be glass with some type of transparent value of 80 like that and I think I you know my models are working pretty well uh, so let's find out how they read so far so select the entire folder onto this and so I'm going to select the entire folder and add them into the section and investigate the okay it's not bad you know it could be better so this is actually perfect the way it came out no complaints uh, this is also perfect so you can see that if you want to touch this up a little bit it can be more interesting uh, you know this works somewhat doesn't exactly tell you that this is a, uh, a basin but if you wanted to let's say enhance this even further in, in uh, free CAD um, so it's very interesting that you can select these faces and make them rounded um, at will um, so you can do further manipulation in free CAD and, and tweak this uh, and give it some rounded corners but I think that we have enough to get started with um, our basin uh, so some of the spaces uh, my you know we might end up stretching uh, the basin a little bit to adjust the width and whatnot because we have variations in terms of sizes so it's not a big deal we just wanted to give it a first round and have something to work with so that uh, we can eventually manipulate them as we move along as the need comes and stuff like that so this is already a good start so I would see you into the next tutorial.